What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here today for a PSA reveal video. 38 card bulk special group whatever submission uh, that I sent off one month ago. This was part of that $16 special that they were running. I sent these in uh, around May 10th, 11th. I think they were received and checked in the PSA on the 12th. I got them back in my hands on June 13th is when I am recording this video. So basically one month turnaround time on this bulk order. I will say since they ran out the new special, I'll get these situated here while we are talking. Since they rolled out the new special, the 1990s and newer, they do seem to be running a little bit slower on check-in. I sent that single card Cam Collier Sapphire Auto and it took almost... I think 10 days, give or take, to get checked in. And it just entered grading. It seems to be moving quick now that it's in. They've only had it for a day or two in the system. So I'll see how quickly that one comes back. So this is a lot of low-end stuff, base cards. I know a lot of people were really salty in the comments about what I sent in for grading on this order. Little bit of a mixed on the return, uh, you know, I don't want to spoil anything too crazy. There's definitely a couple random ones in here that I have some questions on. But generally speaking, I am not super surprised. I was definitely a little looser on how much time I spent looking over these cards. There was only, there's two cards I'm very curious to look at to see what went wrong. We may actually do a follow-up video on one of them. So let's just go ahead and dive into this. I'll move through most of these pretty quickly. And this might be, I think this is the one right off the get uh, that I have questions on. I sent a lot of Bowman in. Yeah, so this one got a PSA 6. And I already see what maybe caused it really quickly. There's like a piece of fuzz there or something. But beyond that, uh, that top corner a little bit, usually six, you gotta have something fairly significantly wrong. Anyway, we may do a thought experiment on this one and crack this bad boy open. I won't do it on this video, but we may do it on a follow-up video. I'm surprised that I missed that corner, but who knows? I still don't think that corner would be enough to get it a six. I don't know. All right. There's a Hector Rodriguez. We got a PSA 10 on this one. Once again, Lunar Glow from 2023 Bowman. None of these are like huge cards. This was a $200 declared value limit, remember? Uh, there's an Edward Julian, very popular prospect for the Twins. This one snagged a PSA 9. Uh, so we'll do piles, tens, nines, and other. Uh, we got Lazardo Montas, Mariners, Trendy Prospect, Lunar Glow, PSA 9. Uh, we got an All Aces. This should be an Otani. I think I only sent Otanis in. And we got a PSA 10. I sent four of these in. I am going to keep one of these most likely. These go for about 100 bucks on a PSA 10, give or take. Uh, here's another one. This one got a nine. These go for about 20 or 30 bucks in a nine. Uh, this one got a 10. So we're two for three tens. I really like, for a cheap insert set, I really like these. I'm setting one aside. I don't care that it's not the most valuable card Cam Collier, Paper Prospects, PSA 10. Another Lizardo Montas. This is a Paper Prospects, PSA 10. Here is a Spencer Jones, Chrome Prospects. This one got a nine. Uh, another Spencer Jones. This is Paper Prospects. This one got a 10. I don't remember what all these are doing in prices. Otherwise, I'd, I'd shout them out. Another Spencer Jones. 
This one got an eight. This was another one that I was curious on. I see why it got an eight already. Uh, both bottom corners on the front have white. So you see there, and you see there. I'm surprised I sent that like that, but I very well could have. Like I said, I was pretty fast and loose with these uh, when I was packaging them up. I was basically checking centering, giving a quick glance at corners and surface and giving them a quick wipe down with a with a uh, microfiber and sending them on their way. Uh, we got a Justin Crawford Chrome PSA 10. Uh, this is the World Baseball Classic Otani's. Not a huge card. I think in a PSA 10, these go for about 40 or 50 bucks, give or take. This is, if you remember, this is when Otani struck out Trout. I bought a five pack of these. I'm going to keep one. Uh, but there's one. Here's two. This one got a PSA 10. Three. That one got a PSA 10. Here's a Cam Collier base chrome. That one got a nine. Another all aces. This one got a nine. So we were 50% on the all aces. Two got tens, two got nines. Uh, here is a Julio Rodriguez. This is the black gold, I think. Yeah, this got a PSA nine. I thought this was borderline. I probably shouldn't have sent this one in. Uh, the back corner's got white on it. But I kind of like that card. It's, they're super cheap. They're not expensive at all. Uh, this is a bunch of Bowman Spotlights. We got the Gunner, which got a 10. Really like these. Uh, he's super hot right now at time of recording. Got a Brett Beatty from the Mets. PSA 10. These seem to grade pretty well. Uh, spoilers for the next couple. Uh, Josh Young. PSA 10. Surfaces are the big things you got to watch out for on these. And a Jackson Churio PSA 10 spotlight. Uh, we got an insert for Adley Rushman out of Bowman. Rookie of the Year favorites. Got a PSA 10. I think this goes for like 40 or 50 bucks. Most of this stuff in here in a 10 basically goes for about 40 or 50 bucks. In a 9, most of these 9s I am going to take a loss on. Most of the 10s, I am probably going to about, on average, triple up on grading fees. Some more than others, obviously. There's an Ambrios Tavares Lunar Glow PSA 9. These Lunar Glows did not grade well for me at all. Uh, here's another Otani from the World Baseball Classic. This has got, got a PSA 10. I don't remember if that was all five or not, but all five of those got PSA 10s. Uh, J-Rod Base from Stadium Club Chrome got a 9. Like, this is a perfect example. Something like this in a PSA 10 goes for, like, 40 bucks, 50 bucks. In a PSA 9, it goes for, like, 10 or 12 bucks. So I'll definitely be taking a slight loss on that one, for sure. Uh, Chase DeLotner, this was out of the Bowman's Best box that I opened, Indians Prospect. He's been hurt. He's actually coming back to play this week. This is a gold refractor auto. This got a 9. I am not surprised by this. Uh, there was a surface mark on the side. I just wanted to get it slabbed up. Since it was a gold rookie auto or a prospect auto, I guess, not rookie. So I'll stash this one away. Most of this stuff, I'm going to keep one of these Otani tops now. I'm going to keep one of the all aces Otanis and a PSA 10. And then pretty much everything else in here is going to be for sale. I'm going to set this one aside as well, just because he hasn't really done anything yet because he's been hurt. Um, but gold Indians refractor. Uh, we got a Julio Rodriguez. I think this is the Stadium Club insert team of the futures. This one got a nine. And then this is the Wander Franco version of the same card. This one got a 10. Wander Franco base chrome got a nine. Uh, we got a Carlos Jorge Lunar Glow PSA 10. And a nice little... Oh, that's in the background. That's not on the... Where is that on the slab? I can't tell. Looks like that's on the slab, maybe? Like a little scuff mark or something on it. Interesting. 
Uh, Walker Kessler, Red Prism. This is out of those Prism Megas that I opened. Red Ice. Got a PSA 9. Probably the biggest card in the submission, the Paolo Bencaro. Red Prism. Ice. This one got a 10. I think these go for about 250, 275 uh, in a PSA 10. So that was a pretty big, pretty big get there on that one. Uh, Gunnar Henderson. This is a silver foil out of the little exclusive pack from the super boxes. This one got a PSA 10. These are actually really nice as I almost throw the card. I'm kind of a fan of these. These are going for about 70 bucks, I think, last I looked. Uh, another Otani. Uh, we'll save that one for last. Next up, Stephen Kwan. This is from Topps Chrome Black. Uh, this is the Blue Refractor. This got a nine. Not surprised by this either. Uh, this one also had a slight little surface mark on it. I just really like this card. I think the blue looks really, really good. And once again, there's like a little scuff mark on the case there. But clean looking card. Really like the way that that looks. And last but not least, the J-Rod Blue Sparkle. This also got a nine. I am also not surprised about this. I thought this was borderline. I kind of had a feeling it was going to nine. Same thing. There was a little bit of surface stuff on it. And then also the back centering was way off, which usually they look sideways on or they'll kind of let that slide. But I figured the combination of the small little surface line and then the back centering would probably be enough to get me. Um, I think the corners actually look pretty good. Corners are usually what nail you on this because of the all black on the back. Um, so this probably nets out to about a wash based off what I paid for the card in a PSA 9. I'll probably break about even on this one. But I may actually, I need to debate. I might actually just keep this one and get rid of the 10. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. But I really like this blue sparkle card. I think it's one of those nicer looking rookies. I know he started off slow, but he's been picking it up a little bit lately. So that's the submission. Not too bad overall. We got, let me count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one 16, 18, 19, 20, 21 PSA 10s out of a 38 card order. Uh, I'll take over 50%. We got obviously some nines and then uh, two random ones. The eight, which once again, front corners on that one. And then the straight six on this one still baffles me. The only thing I can think of is that corner is a little rough. Yeah, it looks like it got cut a little funny there maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if that's just a piece of fuzz or if that's actually on the corner. There could be something surface oriented too. I don't know. Like I said, we'll crack this out and take a look at it. It looks like there might almost be, see that right there? That indent or whatever. I don't know. Good follow-up video. Cracking out a PSA 6. Usually when I see something get defaulted to a 6 like this, it's typically something surface. So that's why I'm wondering if I missed something uh, on the card itself. But we'll find out. We will find out. That's all I got for you, boys and girls. If you're interested in anything in this submission, feel free to let me know in the comments down below or reach out to me on social. Pretty much all this stuff is going to be for sale. So if something caught your eye and you're intrigued by it, feel free to slide on into the old DMs. We will catch you, boys and girls, on the next one. Peace.